Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play some more Star Wars Battlefront. Oh no, is my controller broken? For a second there, I couldn't move my cursor, and I was very, very concerned. Even though it's not exactly a cursor, it's it's more of a, a thing that highlights what to do. But I'm gonna join in. The DLC came out, as you can see. I'm gonna be playing around with the palace garage. Oh, I think this is actually just inside the palace, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, so, let's let's have a party at Jabba's palace. Oh, this is a different map. So I played this a little bit yesterday just to test it out, see what's going on. Maybe see the new settings, because they have connection settings, sort of. But not entirely. And, yeah. This is slightly different, because they actually have the sail barge here, which is pretty awesome. And this is also a new game mode that I haven't played before, where... Why are we all just waiting here? We shouldn't be doing this. Also... I don't know what that guy's doing either. I'm gonna run around the other direction. So yeah, DLC and so on, because I want to say... It's totally a conspiracy that... The Star Wars Battlefront DLC and... The Star Wars The Force Awakens Blu-ray came out the same day, so just like... I don't know, man. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> nice. Explosions for the win. Also this pistol, because this is actually one of my favorite kind of guns for close quarters. Which is really good for Jabba's palace, if you can't really tell. Um, hmm. Aliens? No! Oh boy, they're all Twi'lex. Just hiding around in there, and I'm gonna- ah. Uh, Okay, they know the other good strategy. <laughs> Lol. Because I do enjoy using a good old shotgun every once in a while. Because the, the Jawas, they know how to shotgun people. They they know how to shotgun a few beers every now and then. They really enjoy to party. And they like to sing that one song and go... You know. Oh, here we go. The probe droid is one of the best things for this kind of game type because... Oh no, I... Yeah, it's probably still a good thing to put it on the barge, because nobody will know. It's a secret to everybody. Ugh. Also grenades. Nobody uses grenades as often anymore. That sort of seems a bit redundant of a sentence, I don't know. But there's a guy back here, and I really... You need to die, please. Thank you. That was very much appreciated. Oh no, they're destroying my probe droid, didn't they? Because they know how important it is on this game type. Whoa! Grenade. Oh, I missed. Cause still, yeah, nobody uses grenades. People do have a new type of grenade that just... It's some sort of poisonous gas that shouldn't really... I know that does hurt the stormtroopers. Cause you always gotta be paying attention to what they said in The Force Awakens where they're just like, Oh no, they don't filter toxins. And they don't ever look up, apparently. Please? Ah. Oh. He's just go on top of the sail bars and then just shoot down at them. Someday we're gonna stop this shipment. I don't know what the lore behind stopping or having the shipment go through so much is. Because what's so important about this shipment? I don't know, man. Oh, yes! I almost killed her. It seems so weird seeing Princess Leia. Her name is Darth Vader. Although it actually makes sense. She took her father's name, and so on. Oh, and I think she's finally dead. Good. Good. Um, hmm. I'm going to casually walk over here. Ow. I think this is the gas. Yeah, it is. Oh, and they're using my gun, too. It makes sense, man. This doesn't make sense, though. Other than actually, yeah, it does. Let's stop this thing. Oh, no, I think it's already stopped. Good work, sir. I'm going to run back here because we're going to get shot at in like two seconds. Although there's a probe droid. Ooh! Grenades. Lots of grenades. If you can't stop grenading, then they can't stop dying. Get busy grenading or get busy dying. That's what... Oh, no. They always said to me when I became a stormtrooper in the core. Is there somebody there? Oh no, there's the guy. Also, the scattergun, I think, is another new one. 
Because you have to do, like, Jabba the Hutt's contracts, and you have to sign them to a two-year deal worth 4.5 million and so on. It's really strange. Speaking of things that remind me of hockey... Oh, man. So, yesterday night, I was just kind of sitting around. It was very late, and I just couldn't sleep, so I went around and just was looking up hockey stats. That's just what I do when I can't sleep. I just study hockey stats. Just because I love to know as many stats as possible for some reason. It just... It's enjoyable. Okay? I don't know, man. Oh, this is... Way worse of an ability than what I had before. I don't like card refresh. Although, I'll probably gonna use it in like a second here. So I'm just gonna throw as many grenades as possible. Because it's the best way of defending. Oh, here we go. Like this. So there's a guy up there that needs to be shown his place through the power of thermal detonators. And potentially an imploder if I had one. Oh boy. I did a little bit of uh, hit markers on him. Or her, since it's a Twi'lek, but... You never know, they could... They could have male Twi'leks. I've never seen one, I don't think, in Star Wars. I don't know why certain races are just only... Maybe they're just the, the warrior... The warrior dancer race of the Twi'leks. That's what they only ever do. Is dance, and then the males just like, are the ones that sit there in the home and cook the nice suppers. This is actually really... What? You can't get a grenade inside of that? Shenanigans. You should be able to get a grenade in there. I would think... Potentially. Oh no. Okay, I have an idea. It's called explosives. Oh. Or you punch. No, we are stopping the shipment. Oh, here we go. That was such a waste, but it was worth it. That one person was going to go on to become the greatest of the Republic rulers. The the new Republic of... Ah! Evil! Grenades. Oh yeah, there's also... That was the gas grenade. It's like right up ahead there. If you get hit by it, it just like destroys your eyes too, I think. It just destroys you in general. It's really unpleasant. It's probably like tear gas in a way. <laughs> nice. He just runs up with a shield and then gets instantly destroyed. Oh, oh no. No you don't. Grenades ahoy! That kind of hurt me a little bit, but my Stormtrooper armor protects against grenades. Maybe. At least I can pretend it does. Well, this is the most advantageous place here. I love it. <laughs> oh boy, there's so many grenades. Now it's time for a little... oh no. I am do shooting other guys. Look at that. I got two kills. Hopefully this person protects my back, because I can't see be- Oh! Hind. No! You didn't protect my back! You... Rebel- Rebellious bastard that you should have been wearing your helmet. Oh, man. Although I don't think that- I wonder if the Stormtrooper helmets actually do, like, give them any real benefits. Lol. Guy just hit his head on the roof. Oh! I was hoping it was gonna go right over the cover and not hurt me. That was a terrible scream. Okay. Uh, I got it. With power grenades, anything's possible. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to casually walk... Oh, they can see me! <laughs> Because they're all hiding behind that one piece of cover there. They're doing the opposite of what I was doing. They're all hiding behind that one piece of cover and I was on the other side. Which also, you know what that means. More grenades. Never stop throwing grenades over in that corner. I just need a card refresh. Oh, it's the best ability ever. Why'd I say otherwise? Aha! Oh no. My poor, poor teammates. Oh, that didn't even hit anybody. That's awful. Okay, there's gonna be somebody coming in from the left. I can almost guarantee it. At least the Shadow Trooper knows what's up. Is he using... What kind of gun was he using there? Oh, I think he was using the E... 11? No way, we actually won? I've never seen the Stormtroopers actually win that kind of match. 
But we were the best of the stormtroopers that could ever be. Look at that. The one guy in first place was incredible. 24 and 3? Was he hacking? He's totally hacking. Not possible. OP, please nerf that guy that did really well. Because we are all communists here today. Well, I'm, I'm getting pretty cl close up to rank 20. Gonna get there one day. Also, speaking of getting there one day, I need a lot more credits. I think precisely... Like 4,500 credits more? And then I can go ahead and give myself some upgrades for my thermal detonator and then the impact grenade. I think I'd probably want to I improve my thermal detonator first for the reload time because nobody expects thermal detonators. They explode very, very violently too, which I absolutely love. Okay, it's time to go the opposite side of things in the palace garage, which is the offense. And it's time to dance. Whoop doop we doop do the, the robot. To safely to the extraction point. Stay I don't think that. It and keep it moving. Yeah, we're gonna try. I really think that not many people have the robot anymore. A lot of people have like crazy new taunts. Like there is the one that you can pretend like, hey, I'm Han Solo. You know, I'm Han Solo. I'm. Wait, I actually got the kill on that. I really. He. That's not good. That stormtrooper is so dark that I can't see him. It's a super dark trooper. Okay, here we go. So uh, there's definitely a benefit to being a dark trooper, even though they're getting very, very commonplace now, which there are way too many dark troopers in the army to really be what it is. <laughs> but okay. Ooh. Aww. Twi'leks. Never trust a Twi'lek. Oh, aww. I'll at least be able to get that, maybe. Yes, I can. You've got Commander Solo if you did, okay. If that person didn't actually go ahead and grab a hero, then I was going to be very upset. Also, I just had to check upward here because there's probably there could have been places to jump down at least, as according to the other place in Jabba's Palace. Jabba's Palace is a really close quarters kind of place. At least that that kind of style. This one's more all about in industrial revolutionaries and so on. So far, so good. Keep it moving. Okay, I'll follow you, Han. Oh! See that shot? Uh, I don't think that shot was that impressive, actually. Because you didn't protect as well as you should have. Okay, I got this. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I actually have to press a button to start this thing? I wonder. Also, I'm gonna put a squad shield up. I did not know about any of this before. But now I do, and it's all safe. Mildly. Because the last time I was on offense doing this, just testing out recording and whatever, I do a lot of tests. Not really. But at the same time, who doesn't love a good test every once in a while? Because like, you gotta have that stress and enjoyment of having to study for a long amount of time for nothing because you're gonna forget that information. I probably shouldn't have died from that guy. Oh well. We've let the Imperials stop the ship. Yeah, it happens. I protected it well enough. Not really. There's a guy right in front of here. Um. Uh. Hmm. Also, I just thought of weapon stuff. So, I hear that there is balancing in this game now, that they made it so then certain weapons weren't as overpowered and so on, and whatnot. Also, I just... I just noticed that that one... I gotta take this. Balls to it. Oh, that guy! He has my favorite gun! Well, one of my favorite guns. Well, I, was, I was saying the wrong weapon, actually, before. I was saying, like, EE3, but it's... Or I think I was saying E11 or something. I don't know, it's... I actually don't remember what gun I was saying now. One of those things was, uh... Made to be not as overpowered. Or something. Same with a few other guns, as far as I know. 
it, it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Who knows? It seems to be better balancing for this pistol, though, because this pistol is pretty amazing. It's one of the first ones you get in the game, and it is super, super strong. At least at close range. Any other range? Maybe not the most. I think my team's just really good or something. I think maybe the guy that had like a million kills before is still having a million kills now and will have a million kills continually in the future. Oh, they have more companion cubes here. They always have them. Oh boy, the gate is opening. Let's go into Helm's Deep and destroy it. Oh, that was almost gonna be perfect. That guy... I should... I should have killed him by now. Yeah, I'd say that was a critical cr kill assist. Or krill assist, too. Just shooting him in the legs. Aha! Is he still there? <laughs> worth it. And you know what's even more worth it? Aww. Oh well, at least Princess Leia, she had her help, sort of, go through. I really love this area, though. Tatooine is just such a mysterious and amazing place. Because it's all about these uh, Tusken Raiders and also Bounty Hunters. Essentially what I'm trying to say is that this just makes me think of Star Wars Bounty Hunter, and... Yes. Please. Oh! What kind of gun was that guy having? Hmm. Standard issue weaponry is maybe a bit better than I thought. Need to keep that in mind moving forward. Especially considering that the... The area out here seems to be a bit different. I'm gonna throw some grenades in there. Ugh! Oh. Also, there seems to be some sort of... Nuclear droid... Person. I'm gonna help you. You are going to be the new greatest person. But yeah, the range here is a little bit longer, so I should probably switch weapons now. We're not inside anymore. This gun just wrecks close range, but oh no. I should die from that, potentially. I'm stuck. Slightly, but not- Ah! I should have stayed in there! Oh, it is an E3. I was right. Okay. E3 would probably be really good out here. I should probably change to that. I'll try a heavy blaster. If that doesn't work, then... We'll see. And potentially go to an E3, because it rhymes. That's the only reason why I want to use a gun. If it rhymes, oh, it's a good idea. If it doesn't rhyme, well, who's you? It's Boba Fett. I think I did one little hit of four damage onto him. Should I go his gun versus my gun? Oh, uh, probably not. I just have to be paying attention and just not get killed by him, and it should all be fine. We're gonna win this, though, so... Who cares about bounty hunters? I was just mentioning about bounty hunters, but nobody cares about them. Don't worry, Twi'lek. I got ya. This is not a Twi'lek. Oh boy. Close range. This is not gonna... And... well... That guy just runs in, kills people, and runs away. He's not helping the team! Then again, he probably wasn't even meant to be a part of this. He was just signed in to become the greatest murderer of all time. I don't know who he was needing to murder. He's contracted to kill me, probably. No! Oh, I don't like outside. Outside freaks me out. That's why I never leave. Stay inside the house at all times. You, please die. Yes! I should definitely have a comeback bonus from that, considering the fact that... I'm not doing well. Everybody's everywhere outside here. Inside is good, outside bad. I get sunburns instantly in the sandy desert. Oh, why? I want to say that they upgraded that as well. I might need to switch over to the EE3. I don't know how good it will be at long range just fighting Boba Fett, though. Come on! You need death. 
Are you sure that you don't want death? Please? Okay, grenades are my plan and my speciality here. Oh, here we go. He's gonna go down pretty soon here, though. You must die. Nice. What are- what the heck are you doing? That Rodian is just an idiot. Still, I said it before about not trusting Twi'lex, but Rodians, those are even worse. Nobody likes them. <laughs> just see Bottle Fett just floating up and down through the sky. Here we go. There's just too much- oh no. People using the black armor. They need to stand out. Actually, white armor might not be a bad idea inside of the desert here, too. <laughs> hmm. That should be my nemesis, because it's one of my favorite Halo songs. Oh, no. No more. No more. I'm just going to kill everyone around here, because they are not being very polite to me. And at least now I have my trait again, which is really, really good, actually. So then I can hide. Oh, wow, I can see them all. They're all there. I'm probably gonna get shot at in like two seconds. Somebody run in and help. I will shoot from long range with my <laughs> totally long range gun. Am I hitting? Yes, I am. It's hard to tell from that long, though. Especially they have an alien in the army, it looks like. Oh, those aliens in the army, they think they're really great. They're not. Uh... I couldn't think of anything fast enough to rhyme with great. And I couldn't remember the the MASH version. Because <laughs> the ma Ah! Please, no. Jabba the Slut? Is that supposed to be like Jabba the Slut? Jabba is kind of a slut here and there, so... I wouldn't doubt it. But I think that that guy that killed me was probably upset that I killed him probably a couple times. I'm just assuming, because... Why else would they just go run up at some person in the distance? Hey! <laughs> Every single time somebody gets on the turret, I just shoot their head. I can't really see that that exists at all. But, I pretend that I can see them. I can see them in my sleep. Oh, what is that one song? I don't know. But we did it! I was an instrumental portion of that. So many triangles and... ...stuff around there. The only reason I went positive at all is just because of those last few kills just sitting on top of the ridge. And for a second there, I thought that was actually me. People need to stop using my gamer picture, because there aren't any really good Master Chief ones on Xbox One yet, and that was my thing. I had a Halo 1 Master Chief profile picture in... Uh, in and around the Xbox 360, but then... And also, like, nobody... Well, there's a few people that used it. It's debatable, but people just use this too much. I'm upset. But not really.